Hello there, my name is Cadence and today I'm going to talk about the greenhouse. Where is the greenhouse? It is right beside the school and the parking lot. Grade 7 and 4 is help farmer Christian plant lettuce, onions, tomatoes, carrots, spinach, and other vegetables and plants. The philosophy for the Exshaw School Greenhouse is uh, giving the students an opportunity to learn through hands-on sort of visceral experiences with plants uh, and to, to see all the natural patterns that uh, go along with uh, tending a garden. It's all about uh, reciprocity, if you will. Um, the greenhouse and any garden is always giving us many, many gifts and it'll keep on giving us gifts. But we want to uh, return that gift in the form of uh, respect for the space taking care of it and as the garden gives to us uh, we give back and uh, it's a great uh, mutually beneficial relationship it's a little life lesson for the students uh, when they see that uh, when you put put in some some love and respect to something then, then they get that right back i'm responsible because i give them food and water to grow bigger I really care for this all the plants when I get the water, they grow big. We really wanted the greenhouse to be a sense of community so that everybody felt that they had a place in there and they belonged. And we really wanted to be aware of how could we make this a hub of learning and so that students could actually show uh, growth and mastery and have some of that independence out in the greenhouse with being able to show other students how how to plant, explain the plant cycles, and relate it not only to the curriculum but to their real life too as well. I'm going to teach you kids how to plant onions today. So uh, first you got to get your knife and you kind of stab it in the side. And you got to do it carefully like you lift it up. And if the dirt crumbles, it's okay, but preferably you want it like this. Just dig a deep hole, push it in, and... This looks like lettuce. Fuck choy. Good job. It's, uh... Okay, we're gonna find that little well. Oh, that does look like lettuce. Yeah. Very nice. You can see the difference in them as students when they're given the chance to do the hands-on work and actually get right in there. And it makes such a difference to them seeing the impact that they're having. Uh, really gives them that sense of belonging, knowing that they have to care for something and uh, that they're needed. And if they don't take care of it, then that won't grow. Come, uh, come here. It's very hot. Yes. Guess what is the temperature? Look, point at this one. Do not look at this one, guys. So it is 34. Can you say that, guys? Or 34, yeah. 34. I'm working on most of the weather stuff. The cloud is very displayed on the weather. And it curves down to so how much you put it. Three It would be rainy. Cooking pot supposed to display recipes. You feel great. I have time to see if this will work. It was really fun because, like, planting things and like seeing it grow and cutting it and making it for like our specials in the morning, in the afternoon to eat and stuff like that was really. I enjoyed everything that I did last year. And then what are you gonna do once they grow big? We eat them. The snack is terrible, but use this food so we can eat it. When you consider that our school consists of 98% Indigenous students, it's important to consider the worldview that they're coming from. We are a public school, um, but our students are walking in two worlds. Part of my job, I'm, I'm really trying to um, develop uh, community connections, engage kids in school, um, engage kids in meaningful learning opportunities. So part of that is building a progression of 
land-based activities, working with elders and community members. So what we've been doing for the last couple years in the greenhouse is we've been using it as an outdoor cultural space when the when the elements aren't really on our side. The grade seven and eight classes each worked together to learn how to scrape hides uh, to create rawhide and then from that um, learning how to um, use use rawhide in, in traditional ways. And, uh, it was good um, teaching the children how to tan hides because my I myself I learned when I was about five years old by watching my my mom and my aunties and some other family members do can't hide and I always watch I always watch my mom and that's how I learn by watching but the most incredible part of it is is how it brought the school community together and how it brought uh, the broader community together we started and engaged I think three women to help us tan the hides we had um, two men teaching how to scrape the hides um, but by the end of the week uh, at any given moment we probably had 12 to 15 people in in the greenhouse just families that would visit students that were out on recess out on lunch it just became this um, this magnet and how do you think having students work in a greenhouse and learn about how to grow those vegetables how does that benefit them it will teach them how to um how to have their own gardens at home. I have seen, I've already seen one of my granddaughters and they have a little small greenhouse at their house and they just covered with plastic, which was good. I've seen corn growing in there, which was good. It's good that they learn to, um, to grow vegetables and, um, and other things like trees because that they need to learn the nature. And when I look out a little seed like this, I, I kind of think about it as each one of you in this class. I think each one of you has so much potential in life. If, if we just look after, if, if you learn and study really hard at school, you can do whatever you want in life, okay? And so that's why when I look at a seed, I kind of think about it in the same way as each and every one of you. Are we good with that? Bye.